Hi everybody, my name is Tracy and I'm here with my two girlfriends today, Pearl and Sarah. And we're going to talk to you a little bit about their differences and similarities between their two breeds. First, I'm going to get you up close and you can take a look at each of their body shape, their coloring, and see if you can spot some similarities first. First, let's take a look at Sarah. Take a look at her color and her coat, and just the way she looks. Take a look at her ear shape, and her eyes, and muzzle, and even the shape of her face. And then, we're gonna take a peek over here at Miss Pearl. We'll move her rope a little bit out of her way so you can get a better look at her. Take a look at her color, and her coat. Even her feet, and body shape, and even look at her chest. And now we're going to see if you can spot the similarities. All right, first let's go to our similarities. The similarities are their color. So Sarah and Pearl are both bay horses. That means they have a chocolate brown coat and a black mane and tail. That's called a bay color. They also both have at least one white sock. Sarah happens to have two on the same side. And Pearl has one on her back leg. But that's a couple of similarities. And that's pretty much where the similarities stop. Now we're gonna talk about some of the differences. First, we'll talk about Pearl. Pearl is her thoroughbred and the thoroughbred breed has some characteristics that are kind of across the board with thoroughbreds similar. So thoroughbreds will typically have a longer back and you'll notice her back looks from her withers to her hip is pretty long whereas Sarah hers is a little bit shorter and Pearl also has a deep wide chest, a broad chest. Well, Thoroughbreds, the breed, is a running horse. So your Kentucky Derby or your local horse races will most likely have a lot of Thoroughbred breeds in them. They're also taller. So from the ground to their withers is where they measure the horse. And the Thoroughbred breed will typically be between 15 and 16 hands high. And then we'll go over here to Sarah. Sarah is a registered Arabian. And things that are typical of an Arabian breed is they're a hot-blooded horse, so she has more energy. Although today she's just relaxing in the shade. They have a shorter back width than some other horse breeds. They have a narrower chest, and they also have fine or thin bone structure. And another characteristic is their ears. Their ears will sometimes tip in at the top. That's pretty characteristic of an Arabian. And some have a scoop or a accented face shape, kind of a more defined face shape. She doesn't have so much of a scoop. But those are some characteristics of the Arabian breed. Now we'll talk a little bit about their individual personalities. And sometimes their personalities align with their breeds, whether they're an energetic Arabian, when sometimes they don't. She's not always energetic, but she can be. So Sarah's personality, we recently got her the, earlier this summer, so we haven't had her too long, but enough to know some of her personality characteristics. One funny thing she likes to do is she loves to chew on her rope and she nibbles on things just because I think she sometimes gets a little bit bored. She's a very smart horse. She has learned how to do some tricks and some fun things. She has a wiry, flexible body. So sometimes when you're riding, you really need to pay attention and can't really relax too much or she can scoot right out from under you. So now for Pearl's personality. Pearl's a little bit older. She's around 25 years old. So 
she is starting to slow down. She's very dependable. Literally anyone can ride her and she's calm and dependable. So if we have newer riders that come over to our house that want to go riding, we probably have them ride Pearl and she's a reliable girl. In fact, Pearl is so reliable that we've had everyone from two to 82 riding her. Once when my mom was over, her friend who's 82 years old mentioned to us, oh, I've never ridden a horse. So my kids grabbed Pearl and saddled her up and we took her for a ride. That's how dependable and, and kind she is. And that wraps up our similarities and differences video with the mares. Sarah and Pearl and I say, see you next time.